What is up ladies and gentlemen, we're back here for yet another banger video and uh, today I'm actually going to be doing some, I believe, pre-spawn uh, style bass fishing. Um, I've got a pond and it's actually right after school today and I'm going to go down and fish. And uh, my thinking, why the reason why I say I believe it's pre-spawn, I don't know, I'm 100% sure, but that's kind of like the goal and mission of today's video is not it, obviously to catch fish but to also figure out where and what what style stage and what kind of stage these bass are in right now we've had here in Arkansas we've had a couple uh, warm days and a couple warm days to maybe a week or so um, of nice warmer I guess style weather and uh, I believe that some of these bass are going to be pushing up to spawn and uh, are starting to push up to spawn they're not all the way up there like five to seven feet right on the bank but they're within like the 10 to 15 range you know they're not fully pushed up yet but they're they're getting there so that's kind of like the main goal of today's video and uh, going down and the whole reason why I'm going fishing today so um, other than that I hope you guys enjoy and I'm gonna go down and try to catch some fish alrighty guys I just got down here to the pond and uh, yeah so I'm gonna be starting off with this uh, little Chatterbait right here. This is the Imitator Baits Bladen Jig. If you guys haven't checked out my video over kind of going over chatterbait tips and tricks, um, it deals with a lot of using this style bait um, or this bait in particular, the Imitator Baits Bladen Jig. If you guys haven't checked them out, go check them out. Link is down in the description. So I've got this chatterbait and uh, I've also got a couple swim baits, the same swim baits that you guys saw me catch that like. Usually it was like four and a half pounder. Um, so if you guys haven't checked that video out, go check it out. Um, but I've got those same swim baits, and we're just gonna see if we can catch some fish today. Oh, we got we all oh, dang it! I had a fish, had a bite. Oh, we got one. We got the fish. Oh, we got him. Oh, yes. There we go. Not a big fish at all. Just kind of taking my time with this, this one, honestly. Not a big fish at all, but it is, oh, it is the first fish, and it's a fish on the Imitator Baits Bladen Jig. Check that out, guys. Right there, not a big fish by all means, but check how he choked out that chatterbait. Mm, that thing is gone, gone. Alrighty, like I said, this was, I believe the fish that, uh, there, there, there's a chatterbait right there. I believe this was a fish that hit my chatterbait a couple, like a couple minutes ago. So, first fish, oh he actually swam back like right in here I think. Maybe he swam back out, but. I cast right over there. I believe this is all kind of like this whole bank over here is like a, it's a little bit shallower. And I believe that kind of looked like a, uh, possibly a male that was moving up a little bit uh, to get ready to spawn. So I'm not completely sure, obviously spawn with a female, but um, moving up, getting ready. Um, so I don't know technically if that's what's happening over there, but I'm gonna stay back here and I know they're definitely probably not on beds right now. So you guys stay tuned for spawning bass, spawn bass fishing because this year is going to be a lot better. So I'm going to keep back at it. Get back at it. We're going to see if we can catch another fish. All right, guys. So what I'm doing right here is I've moved to where I am horizontally fishing this bank. And you guys just saw me catch that fish and I was actually standing like right over here and casting this way in over here and uh, this is kind of like a long bank and I believe it it's shallow a little bit and then it kind of gradually gets steeper out to the middle of the pond and uh, and so what I've what I've done since I caught that fish is I moved right here I'm gonna make a couple casts right here and I am uh, horizontally casting down this bank because I don't know if that fish 
maybe it's it's been a little bit better weather recently and so i don't know if that fish is it, i know it's not all the way moved up yet but if it's if it's just sitting right there then there might be a couple more fish that are doing that same thing so that's what i'm doing right here it's a little quick bank fishing tip for you guys if if you guys catch one and it's around this time period right now and actually it's like february 4th or something right now i think and uh i'm just kind of horizontally casting here because then i can work from the bank out to deeper water and i can kind of try to figure out where those fish are located so that's what i'm doing a little a couple little tips for you guys all righty guys well i am uh i'm not having too much luck now with this uh with this chatterbait so what i'm gonna do is uh i've got a couple swim baits uh from my last fishing trip uh with, with like the kitex those kind of swim baits and uh, i'm gonna put one of those guys on here um, with a weighted swim bait jig head hook deal and uh, i'm gonna throw that at this pond now and uh see if i can capitalize on any fish with that bait just take that off right there there we go then we've got the swim bait hook all right guys so i just want to give you all a uh, couple tips when you're throwing a bait kind of like this with like these Kitexes, I love to put them actually recently well, that was a terrible job right there but I love to put them and rig them on one of these uh, these swim bait screw lock hooks they've got this little screw right here um, and uh, and then it's like I believe this is a 1 4 ounce weight so it's a pretty good standard weight and uh, you just use that screw and you screw right into the nose of the bait right like that and what this does is it keeps that bait on really good and it keeps it on a lot better than uh your your traditional way of like say like texas rigging it or something kind of like that and uh it works works very well then you you can match your thing right there put it in the hook slot and right like that we've got a juicy looking bait i'm going to tie this on and we're going to get to fishing Alrighty guys, so I hope you all enjoyed today's video. I know I only caught one fish, but I do now believe, and I had like, I could have caught probably like another three fish, maybe two to three fish, somewhere around in there. But um, I believe I did accomplish my mission to really find out what stage these bass are in um, because we've had a week or so of warm slash nicer weather. And, uh, and so now I can go back and I can look, okay, this is what I need to go buy at for at, uh, the tackle store for uh, this coming spawn season. And I can really go through my tackle now because I know that I caught that fish that was probably within like 10 feet, probably 10 feet, 10 to 12 feet off the bank. So I know that fish is, that one's probably a male pushing up to find a female to spawn. Um, and then I also had three other or two to three other bites that were within 10 to 15 uh, feet of the bank. So I know those other fish are as also pushing up to, and getting ready to spawn. I don't know if they're females or males. I don't know. I don't really know because obviously I didn't catch them. But um, I know that there are more fish looking to push up in order to spawn. So I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. I tried to do a little bit more. I guess you could say commentary a little bit um, and really give you guys an insight on what I am I was trying to do while I was fishing today so other than that thank you guys for watching and uh, make sure to subscribe I've got to say uh, I will have a giveaway coming um, ASAP whenever we hit 1300 subscribers so you guys do that and uh, I will catch you guys on the next episode of LMB Nation peace guys